for action. I need a weapon. Fight for the Empire. <laughs> How's that? Hey, Moose. Welcome to Mongoose Max channel. <laughs> and it's Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. The 7th of February. Remain your post, Trooper. <laughs> okay. I just want to say something. <sighs> Market. Trade. Investment. Just three words. I just said three words. Makes you feel good though, huh? Yeah, man. What? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to start to think more about the economy. But today is Super Bowl Sunday. I see a goat, and then a goat, another goat, 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 and a goat, and a goat. Who's the greatest of all time? All time. All time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm gonna root for the Buccaneers because they got a cool helmet. <laughs> Pirates in the arg, right, Bucky? <laughs> Swear to God, this is this is just a uh, it's plastic. Uh, it's anatomically correct. Arr, 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 arr. But they actually make these for medical, you know, learning, and uh, and they they have names, and one of them is <laughs> Bucky. I'm not sure if this was the Bucky model, but this one is my. Bucky, my Bucky model. Right, Bucky? It's all right, it's all right. All right, Bucky, you stay there. All right, so, let's get on with it. It's, um, that's right, newspaper. This is where we look at the newspaper and see what's inside. Today's Sunday's paper, so lots of stuff. Mostly it's like Super Bowl. Well, actually, there's not that much actually Super Bowl stuff in here. There's some, there's a spread. You know how it goes. Spread them. Well, let's look at the, what's on the inside by first looking at what's on the outside, AKA the headline. The headline for today's paper is, Thumbnail stuff. Ugh. Bill's aim to save Hawaii's beaches. Hawaii's beaches. You know, it's that stuff about. I'm gonna use these lights here. I need some extra lights. It's it's the stuff, the burrito things. What's with the what? That's like real Hawaiian burritos. It's like giant sandbags. The giant sandbags. Uh. Okay, what else is going on? We have a 61 daily case and 24% spread rate. That's not bad. 108 new cases statewide. That's not good. So vaccines are coming out. We're getting worried about that race between the vaccine and the variants, but it's not that much of a worry. It's more like vaccine rollout. Everyone's getting creeped out about, I already did my first shot. Where's my second one? <sighs> Wait, you're giving them the first shot, and I'm waiting for my second shot? It's almost 28 days! <laughs> that sort of thing. But first, let's look at back in the day. How far back in the day? 1947. Oh. 1947? Okay. okay. Holding the Pu'ili, from which the bamboo used in dances originated, the Kaos Chan, chairman of the ancient Hawaiian sports festival, explains significance. The Linda Mangelsdorf, my god, are we from Dusseldorf? Member of the public community of Aloha Week. So she got the foxy blonde chick, 
And this guy's like, hey, and this is kind of like, you, you, you weave them together like this, and they go, tee, tee, tee. And someone, tee, 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 tee. That stuff. Okay, Ely. 1947, this was a territory. Oh my god. Awesome. We got right here. Hey, thanks for my wallet back. Took you long enough. Guy lost his wallet in Antarctica 53 years later. Someone found it behind the locker and sent it back to him. I thought I lost that. He changed his identity since then, so it was, it was a problem for him. Just keep it. I'm kidding. What else is going on in the paper? Paper. Let's go real quick. Super Bowl fans. Kids, don't be Super Surge. That's a big thing. Second shot is Super Surge. Beware, beware. Burritos. That's the burrito on the beach thing. I don't know, this is like North Shore. I mean, you get the big waves on the North Shore. It's like 20 foot stuff now. It's like kind of winter. Big waves on the North Shore. So you have big waves coming up, and that's your house. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they're complaining about. I guess burritos isn't a Hawaiian word. Oh, by the way, it's Hawaiian official language. Learn Hawaiian. The Hawaiian word for today is kope. Kope. It means coffee. Kope. Ono ke kope. Ono ke kope. Delicious. Would you like some? Maka maka oe ike kope. Maka maka oe ike kope. Would you like some coffee? Get your hands off my coffee! Super spreader! <laughs> Alright, so we got this, got this. What else we got? And stuff all businesses. And they're worried about uh, <laughs> police brutality in the mainland for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. What? The first line of defense is shoot. Shoot the kill, and that's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. Yeah, no, you know, they don't they train them well, so, or it's something wrong. But over here in Hawaii, they love to protest the stuff on the mainland, so it's like, oh, <gasps> stop, the, <gasps> stop the revolution in me. I swear they pulled the plug. Uh -oh. I pushed the button. Oh. What are you doing? What are you supposed to talk about controversy. What happened? You're supposed what? to be funny. Ow! You're supposed what? to be funny. What? You're funny in the head. Don't be stupid again. again. Ow! That's why he's gonna pull the plug again on you. Beginning again. <laughs> Is this where she didn't succeed? Do it again. It better work. Whatever the whatever piece of electronic thing is being weird. Anyways, they're like, stop police brutality. And then the, the thing is over here, is you got disproportionate, they're gonna say, look at pie graph. That's the only statistics all about. It's just a general idea, you know, pie graph. They're giving, uh, they're saying that more Hawaiians and Polynesian guys and I guess gals, because they got the Titas, yeah? <laughs> yeah, those, those ones get more police force brutality. Oh, I did it again. What the fuck? Oh, I'm talking about the bad stuff, that's why, yeah? I'm trying to make them curse, eh? I'm trying to make them curse, huh? No, it's going, right? Okay. So they're trying to make like police brutality. Oh, claims. Claims of police brutality. Well, it's like the number of cases is more, right? And then the second statistic is number by race and how many of the percentage of the race is here. But you can't correlate that with race, I don't think. That's not a. I, I get the point. Yeah? It may be. But that's like case by case. You can't say, well, maybe more people are doing that and they happen to be that i don't know i don't i don't know it's it's a touchy situation very sociology probably if i was very prominent and popular you might be writing letters to the editor about me oh no that guy tastes terrible human cacophony cacophony which relates to last time human cacophony underneath the ocean. 
apparently the oceans are very, very noisy. Very noisy because of human noise. This is the picky little picture if you ever gone scuba diving, push that thing, pick up the mission, and then there's like whales. Right? And all of a sudden sounds of this boats and humans make it sound. So you can't even say Hanakuli Kamoi Kane. Noisy, yeah? The cock. The cock stay noisy. <laughs> Booster. Sorry. <laughs> PC please. But so I don't know what's that gonna do? Noise pollution in the ocean, right? <sighs> All the creatures in the ocean. Shut the hell up! <laughs> what, what, what I'm missing here. I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. How about back in the day? Well, what's the question today? I don't know. Let's see which fingers I have. Back in the day. Who will win the Super Bowl on Sunday? Today. What kind of question is that? <laughs> question for today. It says 20%, 28%, no clue, not following. I'm kind of following, but I have no clue, so I'm kind of putting myself there. 30%, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 42%, Kansas City Chiefs. So 42, it's like 33, 3. It's like one third. That's, that's ridiculous. 28%. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get everybody interested in following back basketball because football's going to be over with. Oh no, no more football. Detours and travel. Okay. okay. Insight. Okay. Here's that. And, and green and insight. What the heck is this? Oh, I went over that. Okay. In this? I'm sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, here. <clears throat> School, eh? Eh, yeah, because, like, you know, once a teacher, always a teacher. But I'm, like, kind of former high school <clears throat> teacher. History, they got me stuck in history because social studies, because I had a sociology degree. So, like, I read all the reading. Okay, guys, you're going to read, like, 500 pages, and write essays, and I have to correct them all. But anyways, check this out. How good are they doing today, nowadays? Speed pigeon, hey, it's no speed pigeon in the classroom. Elementary, 28%, well below proficiency in English. 15%, well below proficiency in math. Uh, middle school, hmm, middle school? 8% failed in English, math, science, or social studies. High school, how are we doing in high school? 12% failed in English or math, 10% failed in science or social studies. We don't need your education. Apparently not. Well, with that little note, I'm gonna. But it is Sunday, so I'm gonna go with this, go with the flow on this thing I was doing. The old and new. Let's do the old and new. Where's my light? Don't hide your light under the bushel. I wasn't hiding it though. I'm talking to myself and answering back. That's creepy. Let's pull out something old and something new out of the Bible. Let's see what. Let's see what it, see what it just offers up here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Summer Old Testament. There's, that's an Old Testament summer. Right there. First thing I see in the morning. Uh, Nehemiah. Uh, second chapter so I came to Jerusalem and was up there for three days then I got up during the night and I and a few men with me I told no one well I told no one what my God had put into my heart to do for Jerusalem the only animal I took was the animal I rode I went out by night by the valley gate past the dragon spring on the dung gate and I inspected the walls of Jerusalem that had been broken down and its gates that had been destroyed by fire. Then I went to the fountain gate and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the animals I was riding to continue. So I went up by the way of the valley by night and inspected the wall. 
Then I returned back and entered by the valley gate, and so returned. The officials did not know where I had gone or what I was doing. I had not yet told the Jews, the priests, the nobles, the officials, and the rest that were to do the work. <clears throat> Dung Gate? Dragon Spring? That's, that's too new. Uh, someone was inspecting all the drizzle late at night with their little animal out there. It was a goat. I don't know. The only animal he had. <sighs> it was in the morning while it was still very dark, and he got up and went into the desert, deserted place. It's not a mark. And, they were, and there he prayed. And Simon, who was his companion, hunted for him. Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is where I came out, is what I came out to do. And they went to Galilee proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting, casting out demons. Okay. That's something you want to do. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Now I know it's Bible speaking this stuff. It's a message there somewhere. And so here we go with, um, yeah, Kansas City. I like so much on Kansas City. Apparently, Kansas City is like, um, favored. They got the favorites. They're like, Kansas City, Kansas City. I guess they all want to be on the winning team or. Some, and then they got some Buccaneer stuff. So uh, maybe I'll check this stuff out later. But they got Tom Brady for the Buccaneers, and that guy's like 43 years old. Brady boy, Tom Brady. And so he's uh, he's been he's got a lot of experience. But does the team can't just be you know quarterback? And so anyways, we'll find out. I call it the Bucks. Everybody's gonna be like. The cheese, the cheese, the cheese, the cheese, the cheese, the cheese. I say third quarter. I don't know if they're going to win, but third quarter they'll be ahead by kind of like a scary lot. That's what I'm going to say. Chiefs are going to supposedly win by three. So now, um, do we have any time left? Because, oh gosh, I was trying to do this. Um, Haleakala is erupting. Yes, that's the Maui one, the giant one, because because Haleakala is erupting. That's why it's spitting out all um, sulfur gas. And, and who's this guy? I've come to power outage. I come to fix your power line. Oh, there it is. It's back here. I wonder. Now, the letters to the editor. The choice part. The part where we look for your opinions. People's opinions. Oh, political cartoon. Public image of the cry. Cancel culture. Cancel culture. Oh, I don't know what that is. Cancel. Oh, they cancel you. They cancel a TV show. Oh, no, you cannot. They cancel a TV show. But then they did that to other people so much, right? So that's why they canceled it. Ha ha, that's happening to you now. Wimps. These are a little longer, sorry about that, because I'm a little slower. Quick in the head, but it takes me a while to do stuff now for a second. Young <laughs> eat that joy. Yet an ox. The guy's making a giant ear of the ox. They throw up firecrackers, cast out demons, but then I don't want them coming my way, so I read Bible, cast them back. <laughs> or just cast them off me. But the guy made this big giant ox for the celebration, which is February 12th, by the way. Gung Fa Choi! And so your ox is like describing it. It was a big 40 foot thing. He painted it up with peaches. And the first time they said, and they painted it up and it's peyote blossoms. <laughs> peyote blossoms? Oh! So the second time it came on the news, it was like they skipped that part and went, uh, and peaches. And peaches. Peaches and peyote. Oh my god. Happy New Year. Uh, letters to the editor. Let's get to it. Provide incentives, not 
tax increases. Our governor, legislators, and mayors have an enormous task before them, created by the COVID pandemic and resulting recession. They need to find new sources of money just to keep the lights on and to pay the billions of dollars in state and county debt. If the state and counties look at taxpayers as a source of new money, they will force taxpayers to spend less by reducing the size of their companies and payrolls or just close their doors and completely and eventually leave Hawaii. In if, on the other hand, the state and counties all won't find ways to incentivize taxpayers to expand and invest in their businesses, increasing payrolls, thus paying more taxes from earnings, this can become a win-win solution. Bottom line, the taxpayer needs to see that it is easier to make more than to spend less. Our fate is in the hands of our governor, legislators, and mayors. Bob Hampton, Hawaii Kai. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Bob. It was very, very... The economy, uh, economy was very, very difficult for me. And <laughs> I'm just going to continue on. Tourism contributes to global warming. David Ige is correctly withholding funding from the Hawaii Tourist Authority. Site article, January 25th. Considering furloughs and curtailing public services, it's inappropriate to continue subsidizing the visitor industry. The industry itself will promote Hawaii's tourism if public funding is withdrawn. In 1990, before HTA public funding, the Hawaii Visitor Bureau reported 7 million visitors. HDA promotes tourism to the most distant inhabited archipelago from continental land masses. I guess that's where I live. I live in the most distant inhabited archipelago eh? from continental land masses. Using the representative airports from the HDA in eight, eight regions of origin and visit the numbers, the average distance traveled is around trip is around 7,000 miles. Each average visit to air travel is approximately responsible for 1.8 tons of CO2e emissions. Some 18 million tons of emissions from 2019. 10 million visitors dwarfs the 7 million tons of state electricity generation and 4 million tons from ground transportation. The Intergovernment Tal Panel on Climate Change Yearly Carbon Budget for each world citizen is 2.3 tons to stay below 2 degrees Celsius world warming. Though government's promotion of tourism each of Hawaii's 1.4 million citizens appropriates the yearly carbon budget of six world citizens. Tourism to Hawaii incompatible with climate justice. Ton Kini MD Ooka Hawaii Island. So basically um, because of tourism, uh, if you spread it out over people, uh, six times per person of pollution. Doctor. Doctor. Is it not going to eat my belly? Doctor. Oh, time. This is letters to the editor. <laughs> Hospitality. Hospitality industry cares for its workers. A local resident called for a re-examination of local tourism industry, asking the question, why should Hawaii's taxpayers prop up a multi-billion dollar industry that at best only offers perpetually low paying, oh, that's the core, that's the core, citing article February 2nd, didn't need to read that. While tourism's role in our local community and economy should be consistently examined, he, wrote the article, missed the mark. First, hospitality professionals in Hawaii earn them among the highest industry pay across the country. To imply that the industry doesn't take care of its people is 
disingenuous at best. More importantly, in 2019, travelers spent 17.75 billion here and generated 2.07 billion. This is dollars in state tax revenue. That's tax dollars. While there exists the notion of tourism as a purely exploitative industry that could not be further from the truth. And to represent it as such ignores the nuance of the situation. Jared Ellis Mililani. Yes, I said situation. That's Sid. It's never Sid. Situation. It's sit, 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 doggy, sit, situation. God, I hate that. <laughs> Hang it around it. I don't know. There we go. Here we go. Well, those are very nuanced uh, articles and all that. And I'm, uh, I'm just a plum of my, uh, oh my gosh, it's getting late. So, it's almost football time. It's going to be football time. What are we going to do? Um... I don't know, you guys. I swear to God, um, you're all lame today. <laughs> you're all lame. Billions and six point ton meters of pollution, and uh, the other ones are horrible too. Two little shorties. Um, I don't know. I'll give it to this Jared Ellis. Jared Ellis for using the word disingenuous. Disingenuous, the year 2020. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Just remember, we look at the news to make it a little lighter. And then we recreate ourselves. That's why they call it recreation. By watching the football game, because we know can play football, because take the big guys that go like these. Oh, oh. oh. That one went out. But, remember, it's more light at the end of the tunnel. And, yeah, you don't have to worry too much about this stuff. It's, it's always going to be there. It's a doctor! I'm not